Hi everyone, my name is Divine Wajrago from Amdari and today we're going to be looking at some data cleaning techniques that are essential. Okay, so looking at these data sets right here, you would see it has three columns, program name, email, and title. Now, if you look at the first column under program name, you will notice that there are discrepancies in the way you know, it is. The data is imputed along with spaces and everything, so we have to clean that. So to do that, firstly, you insert a new column, okay? And here we can just use the function, the proper function to put that in the right way. You click on column, enter. Firstly, this puts it in the proper manner of first, the first letters are capitalized. Of course, if you want to use the other ones, full caps, you can use upper or lower for lowercase respectively. So to remove the spaces as well, because that is something else we have to do, you can impute another column here and then you use trim function okay the train function removes the spaces wherever it is and there you have it the data is clean now if you want to put this back you know you want to just have one column okay if you go ahead and delete the original column it's going to affect everything so you copy this you come here and you paste special and you paste values only okay so now we can go ahead and remove this two columns Okay. All right, so now we have formatted that. Looking at the data set again, we can notice that we have certain duplicates. All right, so we can still go ahead and clean that. So simply you go to data, you know, data cleanup, remove duplicates. Okay, it looks at all the columns and then remove duplicates. One duplicate found, nine rows remain. Now we can see that data analysis was removed. Of course, we could easily spot that because this was a smaller data set, or if it was a larger one, we might not we have, we might have not been able to spot that. So that is another cleaning that can be done to a data set. All right, now suppose this is a data set that is continuous and one that you keep on using and maybe putting in more data, and you want to find, you want to, you know, just put something in place so that anytime it's, you impute a duplicate, Okay, it notifies you. And let's say, for example, you want to use the emails as you know as the unique identifier. All right. So what you can simply do is go to format. This now is conditional formatting. How we use conditional formatting. 